Trust the one who's always in control. For the last 19 months of my life, I've been on a roller coaster. Things that I didn't think would ever happen to me at this point in my life have shaken me. Lose a spiritual grandfather, lose a spiritual father, and lose your biological father will shake any man. But I hear in the Holy Ghost, everything that you lost, it wasn't less. It just gave you more. Y'all miss what I just said. You look at losing things, it's causing you to get less. When God is just making room for more. I told our church this morning, afflictions for a saint don't discourage you. But it encourages you to know that even in the midst of afflictions, God is ending something to start something all over. So if you're in affliction right now, that's just a sign that what you're going through is over. And what God is getting ready to do is going to blow your mind. Because guess what? You're not done. It's done. Y'all missed it. See, I'm sitting in my son's basketball practice while y'all in here. I'm thinking this is going on across town. It's right here. But the Holy Ghost told me to tell at least three people in here. Just because it's done, he ain't done. And tonight as you leave this place, leave here knowing that he that begun a good work in you. Shall complete it. So we leave it like this. Lift your hands and say, I get 
there. Can you hold worship until I get there? I'm not done, but it's done. 
Y'all ain't talking in here tonight. Come on, open up your mouth and begin to give God praise right there. Come on, right there, begin to give him praise. Come on, begin to give him praise because it's already done. It's already done. Tell somebody this week, this week I'm expecting some great things. I'm expecting, to, amen, to hear some positive results. We're going to hear from Pastor. She's getting ready to call, amen, and give us, amen, our final remarks. Amen. Did you enjoy yourself on tonight? Come on, clap your hands to Jesus. <laughs>